Hello, my name is David Mathis, and I'm the Chief of the Division of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery at the University of Colorado, and I'd just like to welcome you to our program. We've been very fortunate to recruit people from multiple different institutions, and they've really brought their expertise to our program. And I think that gives the trainee a unique opportunity to really learn not only from our program, but really from the programs that they trained at. Our residents get the full benefit of having a university experience, so high tertiary level care. But we also have a county hospital, so they're getting a county hospital and trauma experience. On the same campus as the university, we have a VA hospital, which is an invaluable for uh, resident education. And on the same campus, we have the children's hospital. So our residents aren't driving all over town to get the experience and exposure that they need for a world-class education. I think another great aspect of the program is that we've really built up our transgender program. And I think that adds a great diversity to not only our patient population, but also our ability to provide for our community. Our goal is really to make our department the most diverse, equitable, and inclusive department in the country. And we're working on certain recruitment efforts to make sure that we have the most diverse population as possible. Because ultimately, we want our population of surgeons to reflect our community. Our residents are learning how to do microsurgery from faculty that are trained all over the country and some all over the world. A lot of the faculty here are from different places and have trained at different places and bring a lot of experience into the curriculum here. And I wanted to make sure that I got a good experience in all the different types of facets of plastic surgery. Our curriculum is, is very integrated and very diverse. We have weekly lectures that are given by the attendings that are able to impart not just the knowledge, but their actual personal experience. The residents in the plastic surgery training program have a solid set of didactics on which to build their knowledge base. In addition, there are simulations and cadaveric dissections uh, that are arranged for resident benefits. Over at Denver Health, as a resident, you actually do prosections for the hand lab twice a month. So it's just a really good learning experience. We take a lot of pride in the opportunities we create for our residents. We cover core curriculum and all the core topics, but we actually have a resident research teaching conference where they learn how to do research, they learn how to ask questions, and it gets them interested in the topics in plastic surgery. We have four basic science research laboratories, mostly dedicated to immunology, vascularized composite allotransplantation, and also whole eye transplantation. The residents really have an opportunity to participate in work going on um, in any of our laboratories. My favorite aspects of the residency program so far have been the residents. They honestly make this program wonderful. Everybody in the program was extremely warm and welcoming. Very early on, I felt like the other residents were willing to help me. Everything from showing me where to go and what to do to helping me prep for cases that I was unfamiliar with. The most successful residents in our plastic surgery program are those that come in motivated and very curious and interested in learning. Our overall mission is to train you to be the best plastic surgeon you can be. And that really isn't dependent upon where you end up, whether it's in academic surgery or in a more private setting. I feel that our training really prepares you for either career option. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the plastic surgery division here at the University of Colorado. We look forward to meeting you in the near future.